May every evil form of communication spy, monitor, watcher, lurker, looker be disrupted by fire of the Holy Ghost through divine enablement and permission of God the Father Yahweh in Jesus' name. Job 5, 8 through 15. As for me, I would seek God and to God would I commit my cause. Who does great things and unsearchable marvelous things without number. He gives rain on the earth and sends waters on the fields. He sets on high those who are lowly and those who mourn are lifted to safety. He frustrates the devices of the crafty so that their hands achieve no success. He catches the wise in their own craftiness and the schemes of the wily and are brought back to a quick end. They meet with darkness in the daytime and grope at noonday as in the night. But he saves the needy from the sword of their mouth and from the hand of the mighty. Matthew 25, 29. For to every one who has will more be given, and he will have an abundance. Proverbs 3, 21 through 26. My son, do not lose sight of these. Keep sound wisdom and discretion, and they will be life for your soul and adornment for your neck. Then you will walk on your way securely, and your foot will not stumble. If you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. Do not be afraid of sudden terror or of the ruin of the wicked when it comes. For the Lord will be your confidence and will keep your foot from being caught. Psalms 1, 2 through 3 but they delight in the law of the Lord, meditating on it day and night. They are like trees planted along the river bank, bearing fruit each season. Their leaves never wither, and they prosper in all they do. 2 Corinthians 9, 8 And God will generously provide all you need. Deuteronomy 8, 18 and you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you the power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant which he swore to your fathers, as it is this day. Matthew 6:19. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Psalms 57, 6. They set a net for my steps. My soul was bowed down. They dug a pit in my way, but they have fallen into it themselves. Isaiah 54, 17. No weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue which rises against you in judgment you shall condemn. This is is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. Deuteronomy 28, 1-13 And if you obey the voice of the Lord your God, being careful to do all his commandments that I command you today, the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations of the earth, and all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you if you obey the voice of the Lord your God. Blessed shall you be in the city, and blessed shall you be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of your womb, and the fruit of your ground, and the fruit of your cattle, the increase of your herds, and the young of your flock. Blessed shall be your basket, and kneading bowl. Blessed shall you be when you come in, and blessed shall you be when you go out. The Lord will cause your enemies who rise against you to be defeated before you. They shall come out against you one way, and flee before you seven ways. The Lord will command the blessing on you, in your barns, and in all that you undertake. 
and he will bless you in the land that the Lord your God is giving you. The Lord will establish you as a people holy to himself, as he has sworn to you. If you keep the commandments of the Lord your God and walk in his ways, and all the peoples of the earth shall see that you are called by the name of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of you. And the Lord will make you abound in prosperity, in the fruit of your womb, and in the fruit of your livestock, and in the fruit of your ground, within the land that the Lord swore to your fathers to give you. The Lord will open to you his good treasury, the heavens, to give the rain to your land in its season, and to bless all the work of your hands. And you shall lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. And the Lord will make you the head and not the tail. And you shall only go up and not down. If you obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you today, being careful to do them. And if you do not turn aside from any of the words that I command you today, to the right hand or to the left, to go after other gods to serve them, Proverbs 4, 7 through 9. The beginning of wisdom is this. Get wisdom. And whatever you get, get insight. Prize her highly. And she will exalt you. She will honor you if you embrace her. She will place on your head a graceful garland. She will bestow on you a beautiful crown. Isaiah 49, 25. For thus says the Lord, Even the captives of the mighty shall be taken, and the prey of the tyrant be rescued. For I will contend with those who contend with you, and I will save your children. Micah 5, 9 through 15. Your hand shall be lifted up over your adversaries, and all your enemies will be cut off. And in that day, declares the Lord, I will cut off your horses from among you, and will destroy your chariots, and I will cut off the cities of your land and throw down all your strongholds. And I will cut off sorceries from your hand, and you shall have no more tellers or fortunes. And I will cut off your carved images and your pillars from among you, and you shall bow down no more to the work of your hands. And I will root out your Asherah images from among you and destroy your cities. And in anger and wrath, I will execute vengeance on the nations that did not obey. Psalms 91. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night nor the arrow that flies by day nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your dwelling place, the Most High, who is my refuge, no evil shall be allowed to befall you. No plague come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, lest you strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder. The young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. Because he holds fast to me in love, I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. When he calls to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. With long life, 
I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Psalms 26, 1 through 13. Vindicate me, O Lord, for I have walked in my integrity and I have trusted in the Lord without wavering. Prove me, O Lord, and try me. Test my heart and my mind, for your steadfast love is before my eyes, and I walk in your faithfulness. I do not sit with men of falsehood, nor do I consort with hypocrites. I hate the assembly of evildoers, and I will not sit with the wicked. I wash my hands in innocence and go around your altar, O Lord. Proclaiming thanksgiving aloud and telling all your wondrous deeds. O oh Lord, I love the habitation of your house and the place where your glory dwells. Do not sweep my soul away with sinners, nor my life with bloodthirsty men, in whose hands are evil devices, and whose right hands are full of bribes. But as for me, I shall walk in my integrity. Redeem me and be gracious to me. My foot stands on level ground in the great assembly. I will bless the Lord. Psalms 132.18 His enemies I will clothe with shame, but on him his crown will shine. Hebrews 12.29 For our God is a consuming fire. Isaiah 65.21-23 they shall build houses and inhabit them. They shall plant vineyards and eat their fruit. They shall not build and another inhabit. They shall not plant and another eat. For like the days of a tree shall the days of my people be, and my chosen shall long enjoy the work of their hands. They shall not labor in vain or bear children for calamity. For they shall be the offspring of the blessed of the Lord and their descendants with them. Deuteronomy 23.5 But the Lord your God will not listen to Balaam. Instead, the Lord your God turned the curse into a blessing for you. Because the Lord your God loved you. Jeremiah 31.11 for the Lord has ransomed Jacob and has redeemed him from hands too strong for him. 2 Corinthians 10, 4 through 6. For the weapons of our warfare are not of the flesh, but have divine power to destroy strongholds. We destroy arguments and every lofty opinion raised against the knowledge of God and take every thought captive to obey Christ, being ready to punish every disobedience when your obedience is complete. Job 5.24 You shall know that your tent is at peace, and you shall inspect your foal and miss nothing. Philippians 4.13 I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Proverbs 28.1 The wicked flee when no one pursues, but the righteous are bold as a lion. Philippians 4, 6 through 9. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. The things which you learned and receive and heard and saw in me, these do, and the God of peace will be with you. 2 Timothy 4, 1 through 4. I charge you in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who is to judge the living and the dead, 
and by his appearing and his kingdom. Preach the word. Be ready in season and out of season. Reprove, rebuke, and exhort with complete patience and teaching. For the time is coming when people will not endure sound teaching, but having itching ears, they will accumulate for themselves teachers to suit their own passions and will turn away from listening to the truth and wander off into myths. As for you, always be sober-minded, endure suffering, do the work of an evangelist, fulfill your ministry. Ephesians 6, 10 through 18. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand firm. Stand therefore, having fastened on the belt of truth and having put on the breastplate of righteousness and as shoes for your feet having put on the readiness given by the gospel of peace. In all circumstances, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming darts of the wicked one and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, praying at all times in the spirit with all prayer and supplication to that end keep alert with all perseverance making supplication for all the same